Well, can a cat become mayor? Rika, huh? What do you think? We'll find out today. Coming up! Hi there and welcome to my Cat Crazy channel. I love all the wonderful books by my dear friend Kimberly Hamilton. You always learn new things about your furry friends. So here's one of the fabulous stories that I'm taking right out of her book, uh, True Tales of Courageous Cats. This is about Stubbs, the Alaskan town mayor. The little town of Tolkitna, Alaska, which means river of plenty, never had an official mayor. Not until the manager of the general store found a kitten without a tail in her parking lot. He became so popular with the locals that they made him an honorary mayor. Mayor Stubbs, as he was known, became something of a tourist attraction. People from all over came to see uh, him at his office at the general store. Out of towners love to say, hey, where's the mayor? Or I have an appointment with the mayor. The townspeople then just rolled their eyes. Stubbs received heaps of fan mail too. Not many politicians can say that. One time, the furry orange mayor was attacked by a dog and badly injured. A crowdfunding campaign was set up to help pay for his medical bills. People all over the world sent in donations. Stubbs spent nine days in the animal hospital but soon returned to his duties. The dog attack wasn't Stubbs' only brush with death. He once managed, uh, managed to escape from a pack of BB gun wielding teenagers. Another time he slipped and fell into a restaurant's deep fryer. Thankfully it was switched off at the time. Then there was a time he hitched a ride out of town on the back of a garbage truck. He really was a cat with nine lives and had the stories to prove it. Stubbs stopped at a local eatery each morning for some catnip infused water and liked to sip it from a wine glass. He also wasn't above taking bribes, that would be scraps of salmon and crab, uh, but no one seemed to mind. As one town resident put it, he hasn't voted for anything I wouldn't have voted for. <laughs> Stubbs went to the Rainbow Bridge at the age of 20 in 2017. If you want to hear more of these cute stories, then go to Amazon and buy Kimberly's book. It's really cute. What is the tuxedo party? A costume party? A joke? A political party led by a cat? a bunch of black and white cats partying. The tuxedo party was led by Tuxedo Stan, a cat that ran for mayor in Halifax, Canada in 2012. His tuxedo party platform aimed to raise awareness about the city's booming stray cat population. His campaign became international news, but unfortunately cats can't actually register on the ballot in Halifax and are banned from holding office. Eh. So hi Sebastian, so do you think that cats can be vengeful? No, Pip. Uh, humans interpret the cat behavior wrong. Cats are not vengeful. They only act a certain way if they don't find another solution. If a cat pees on your bed, even uh, through everything is perfect in the cat's parents' eyes, then we look for all kinds uh, of interpretations that make sense to a human. So maybe my cat doesn't like a specific food and that's the reason, but that's not how cat minds work, especially for indoor cats. Even the slightest change in the daily routine of their territory can lead to massive stress and that could be new furniture, new smell or a different feeding time. So they are looking for a spot that smells like the whole tribe smells, something that offers security. The bed. 
If a cat is deeply stressed, that's the only way they will solve their problem. There is no ill will. They just do it differently. That's why routines are extremely important for cats, especially for the dog cats. That makes sense. Okay, there you have it. Thank you, Sebastian. If you like this video and would like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel. In case you haven't done that already, give us a pause up and share with your friends. Thank you so much for your support and I hope to see you again next Tuesday. And don't forget, cats rule and so do you.